First at six, towns and cities across the Triangle celebrated Christmas with their own parades. However, in the aftermath of the Raleigh Christmas Parade tragedy, changes were made. Well, let's take a look at those changes. These changes include up-to-date vehicle registration. No participants are allowed to walk in front of ride floats and vehicles. And some areas are no longer allowing candy to be thrown from floats and vehicles as well. WRL's Leslie Moreno joins us live at the Garner Christmas Parade with more details on all of these changes. Leslie. Julie, the parade just wrapped up here in Garner. The route was all along Main Street right here. A very a fun time for families. Good time to celebrate, but safety is still top priority. We know many municipalities across the state are already making changes to their Christmas parades. This comes after a pickup truck struck and killed an 11 year old dancer during Raleigh's parade just a few weeks ago. Durham, Fayetteville, Cary are just some of those municipalities that have already made changes here in Garner. They're still working on changes which will likely include requiring drivers to be 30 years or older with a driver's license. Drivers will get instructions on what to do if they lose control. They'll be increasing the distance between vehicles and walkers. The Gardner Association says they are working closely with police and families are looking forward to those changes. That's why I try to keep her on a short chain, but she likes to run, so we got to stay on it. Safety is the number one thing, but I think we'll be all right. Maybe just like make sure like inspections on vehicles are good and there's no issues. <laughs> A lot of celebrations this weekend and a lot of changes for several municipalities will have all of those changes and what they include on WRL.com. Julian. Leslie Moreno giving us the latest safety updates reporting live in Garner tonight. Thank you.